Job 3.16 The Lord also shall roar out of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope of his people, and the strength of the children of Israel. Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is Judah Nick with Judah Learn, my own personal channel, and with Awaken Israel with the Akims. Yeah, man, this is just about, this is going to be about, you know, trusting in Yahweh and his son, man, trusting in the Lord and his and our father, man. Let's get into it. Alright, so this is Matthew 24 and 6. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You know, Ukraine and Russia. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, okay. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, so there's been poisonous stuff going around, you know, vaccines and stuff. There's been famines for over the last few years. People <laughs> crashing into stores with toilet paper in the US. They've been stockpiling food and they're still doing it today. But, you know, it's calmed down a little bit But because of what's happening right now. I'm guessing the food supply is going to be very low very soon in the coming times. Alright, let's carry on. Oh yeah, also earthquakes. That's happening everywhere. More frequently though. Alright. This is Proverbs 30 and 5. Every word of Yahweh is pure. He is a shield unto them. That put their trust in him. Hey man, that's self-explanatory. You trust in the Lord, you put your trust in him, your faith in him, he's assured unto you. And we all know the shields are meant to protect you from something, right? Can't, can't. Alright, so this is Proverbs 1 and 33. But whoever so hearken unto me shall dwell safely. But whoever listens to the Lord shall dwell safely. And shall be quiet from fear of evil. Hey, so whoever who does the will of the Father, hey man, they ain't gonna fear the evil that comes past them, bro. Fuck off. Aye. This is Proverbs 29 and 25. The fear of man bringeth a snare. Okay, fear. But whoever so put his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Can't. So the father's telling you, don't worry about what's going on, what you may see here. Just put your trust in the Lord, man. You'll be all right. Now let's go to Isaiah 41 and 13. For I, the Lord, thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not. See, fear not. I will help thee. Can't. Fear not thou worm Jacob, so he's talking about the bloodline of Israel. And ye men of Israel, oh, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. He's saying he will help us and fear not. Right? Let's go back to Isaiah. Now let's go to Isaiah. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength. Of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure sheesh that's a heavy one there man wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of those times so if you don't read if you don't trust in the lord no actually if you don't read you can't put your trust in the lord because you don't know what the character of the father is and his son you ain't seen what he's done for israel and for his people his chosen people you'd have no faith you wouldn't be stable because you have no knowledge. And if you have no knowledge, you can't be wise. 
So, man, you need to gain that knowledge. Yeah, man. And also, it says somewhere, blessed is he that reads this. I think that's, let me, let me go find that. I think it's in Hosea 4 and 6. Let's see. Hosea 4 and 6. Uh, Hosea 4 and 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Alright, so that shows you right there that we need the knowledge, man. You gotta read the Bible, man. And the Bible will give you faith, understanding, and he shall make you wise. If he chooses to. But yeah. Alright, let's go to Ecclesiasticus. He that believe in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. Sheesh. Remember the Father says, if you love me, keep his commandments. And he that trusts in him shall fear never the worse. Or fear never the worse. So man, you put your trust in the Lord. You ain't worried, man. You ain't worried. Alright. This is Ecclesiasticus again. Chapter 51. I called upon the Lord, the Father of my Lord, that he would not leave me in the days of my trouble, a, and the time of the proud, where there was, when there was no help. But the Father won't leave you in trouble in the days of your trouble. Man, that's a, that's a great scripture right there, man. You know what, let me go to the verse down. I will praise thy name continually and I will sing praises with the thanksgiving and so my prayer was heard. Alright. Alright, let's go to First Maccabees chapter 2 and 61. And thus consider you throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. So, for as long as Yashrullah has been, you know, existing Israel. I was saying, for all the ages, for all the generations, those that put their trust in him shall not be overcome. That none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. And um, let's get one more last scripture because this, you know. What's happening right now? I know stirring up for a lot of people, and people might be, uh, you know, losing faith. But in a time like this, man, we gotta increase. You know, keep reading, keep the Sabbath holy. You know, put your trust in the Lord, man. All right, let's get the last one. This is thirty-five and four in Isaiah. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power, God, will come with vengeance. Oof. So be strong. The Father is telling you, fear not. So have no fear. Yahweh will come with vengeance. Even Yahweh with a recompense, he will come and save you. Wow. Man, that's, that's a good one right there, man. So not only is the Father saying, be strong and fear not, he's saying, Anybody who tries something to you, he's going to get them back. <laughs> and he's going to recompense them. And he will save you. Wow. Oh, man. Hey, man. I hope this lesson... Well, no, not lesson. But I hope this video was edifying. I had some benefit. I hope it uplifts at least one person. It keeps their faith strong, man. And yeah. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, shalom.